How to Thwart Rubber Hose Attacks Magbi Saeb Abstract Cryptographic systems depend on the concealment of cryptographic keys shared by the participants. However, in general, systems are not able to resist coercion attacks. In these attacks, the participant is forced by the adversary to surrender the key. This type of attacks, known as rubber hose attack, is in many instances the least cost method in time and effort that are utilized to defeat cryptography. In this work, we present a procedure to thwart this kind of attacks. It is based on using the ciphertext as a lexicon to conceal the true secret message. If the participant is forced to surrender the key, the attacker will be able only to get a cover or decoy message, which is acting only as a diversion. The secret true message can be retrieved using a set of numbers that represent the locations of the ASCII code incorporated in the ciphertext of the cover or decoy message. Changing this set of numbers will generate a new secret message. The ciphertext of the decoy or cover message can be used to hide multiple true secret messages and it can be only sent once. Procedure Encrypt At the sender end Choose a relatively large cover message MC Encrypt MC using a secure encryption algorithm such as the Chameleon Polymorphic Cipher 1 and KeyKC to obtain Cipher CC Send CC Using a secure channel send KC Hide the secret message MS1 using YAEA like 2 encryption and the KKS1 Hide in step 2 means using the locations of the bits representing the secret message MS1 found in CC and starting from a random location LR that should appear at the beginning of the transmitted set of numbers representing the second encryption of the secret MS1 given by CS1. For more than one secret message MSI repeat 2 using KSI where I equals 1, 2 N. Using another secure channel send the set of numbers representing MS1. Halt. Procedure Decrypt At the receiver end. 1. If rubber hose attack occurs then surrender only KC. 2. To retrieve secret message MS1, use CC and KS1. 3. Halt. YAEA Revisited To generate KS11 follows the following steps. Read a character from the plain text message MS1 and replace it with its ASCII code. Starting from a given random location begin searching the cipher text CC which was previously generated using MC, KC and the encryption algorithm, for an 8-bit octet that has the same code as the character of step 1. Record the location address, of the encountered octet. Repeat steps 1 to 3 for all other characters. The resulting file is viewed as the key KS1. The address can be 16-bit long for a message, MC, size of 65536 bits. If all message characters are replaced by their respective addresses then halt. Remarks The cover message MC can be transmitted only once and used multiple times. The cipher text of MC given by CC is utilized as a binary lexicon for substituting the secret messages ASCII codes with their respective locations in this dictionary. Since the encrypted cover message CC can be used multiple times, it should be relatively large to enable large number of multiple locations for the same ASCII character.
it is preferable that the cover message would be a multimedia file since it contains a large number of varying octets. This large number, it was found through different experimentations, to be of the order of thousands of locations for the same character. Thus eliminating the possibility of dictionary attacks. Best false statements are based on some actual events. Therefore, the cover message should contain some actual events to convince the rubber hose attacker that he or she has obtained the correct message. Whenever a new key is transmitted, the receiver gets a new secret message. The YAEA-like procedure, discussed before, can be repeated for other secret messages.